And so since you guys seem to like my story times, I thought why not give it a go at the story about my first job ever. I feel like everyone has at least one hysterical like story about any job they had, especially if it's their first job. Some people get lucky with their first job being the one that like they have for like their majority of their teenage years, but I didn't get lucky enough to be one of those people. <laughs> so I was 16 years old, which is the legal age in Canada to work. I applied at a plaza like five minutes from where I used to live. And there was a grocery store there and it's called Food Basics. If you live in Canada, you know exactly what this is. It's your typical grocery store that everyone goes to here. So I was like, let's give Food Basics a try. Went in and I remember I was with my brother and his girlfriend. They waited for me outside and I went into the little office to speak to a manager. I was like all nervous and you know when you're applying for your first job or ever, you don't know what you're doing so you're like, hi, I want a job. <laughs> so I took in my resume. I can't remember how soon I got a call but I did and I had an interview and it went really well and I got the job. So I was so happy, you know, that feeling when you're 16 and you're like, yeah, I'm an adult, I got a job, I'm gonna get this money. Obviously really excited and I got a cashier position which was really exciting to me because I was like, that's, I, for some reason used to look up to cashiers, like every time I looked at them I'm like, that looks like such an easy job, like, I love this and I did love my job, it was a really easy job, you just beep, beep produce whatever and yeah training was really easy I got through it real quick a lot of the people that were being trained and working at the job for a couple weeks didn't make it I guess first things first here in Canada there's I don't know about anywhere else but here in Canada it's a they call it a three-month probation so in three months you are supposed to prove to management that you got what it takes you can do this job and that they can keep you after the three months. Before the three months, they can basically fire you for any reason. I did my job really well. I got along with everyone. I never messed anything up. I was really reliable. Like anytime they called me for any shift, I was like, yes, I'll take it. I was there. I mean, I was your perfect little 16 year old employee. <laughs> I was really kind to everyone. I was obviously stereotyped for being so young by older people, but didn't seem to bother me. I was really nice anyway. And whenever it was really dead, like I would go sweep up or do anything that anyone needed help with I would be there. I think I got hired around like August or something because it came around to October where I had almost been there for three months and I was really excited I was like I'm gonna pass this I can do this I'm doing so great. It came around to Halloween and they called me to work all day and I was like sure I'm, I mean I'm going trick-or-treating but sure. <laughs> so I show up in the morning and I'm wearing these big wings and my halo and I'm wearing like white and I look around at all the cashiers and I'm the only one dressed up. Is this the right day? Is it Halloween? Yes, yes, it's Halloween, what's going on? <laughs> so apparently something I didn't know was that you're supposed to dress up for the night or evening, afternoon time shift, whatever. And no one told me that, no one. Like I just assumed, I'm like, it's Halloween, I'm gonna dress up, no. So I was standing there like a freaking crazy person, being the only one dressed up out of all the cashiers and everyone, it was so busy on Halloween too because everyone goes on that day. I don't know why you wait till the day of, but the point is people did and they were there to buy candy and there were so many people and it was so busy, but I was keeping things under control. It came around nighttime and it was almost time for my shift to be over. And I remember we always had to do like returns, whatever people didn't want and they put to the side or whatever. At cash, you had to go put it back on the shelves. So I went to do that and I was never really good at that. I didn't, for some reason I just never knew where things went because people would leave out the most random things and I'm like, where is this anywhere? Like, and I would always ask around and I was kind of shy to ask and bother people who were doing their job. Where's where does this go? Where does this go? So I was always like mm. but I still did it right I think it was 10 or 5 minutes left to my shift and I realized I'm like oh I didn't clean my till you always had to clean like your belt the metal part the scanner everything You had to wipe everything down before you went home and I didn't do that So I, I was like oh I better do that before my shift is over so I went over cleaning my till and out of nowhere comes my manager like the guy, the top boss guy, he wasn't even working that day. He came in in like running pants and it was, I think it was raining that day and he came in all wet and just so angry and he was looking at me. He was walking down to my aisle and I'm like, 
what is going on. So he comes up to me and starts screaming his head off saying, if you're not gonna do your job right, then go home, blah, 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 you don't just stop doing returns. And I was trying to say like, I forgot to clean my till, I'm just cleaning it. And he just kept screaming in my face. He was like, that's not how you do your job. You're supposed to do regions and you never stop doing them because you have to put all the things back in the shelves. Blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, okay. And I literally like walked over back to do returns and there was like two minutes left of my shift. I was like, what? And I remember walking down the aisle with this item trying to find where it was and just tears were falling down my face like <gasps> I don't know if I'm like this anymore but I know back then if I got screamed at like even still now I like I'll say like whoa don't scream at me but back then it was like if someone screamed at me I would just automatically cry like I would just shut down like I think I would have honestly rather someone punch me in the face and scream at me. It was like so scary to me because I was so small and sensitive and ah, I was just like trying not to like make it obvious that I was crying and whatever. I went to put the stuff back and then my shift was over and I went home. Well, I didn't go home. I went trick or treating and I told like my friends the story and my parents. It's like that was weird. So I think, I think that was a Friday or a Saturday or something and then my next shift was on a Monday. So I went in on a Monday, I went to the back room and I put my lunch in there or whatever. And as soon as I go to my till, the phone rings. And I'm like, uh-oh. So I picked up the phone and I said, hello? I said, Vanessa, can you please come into the office? And at that moment, I was like, <gasps> like panicking, like, oh my goodness, I did something wrong. I'm gonna get punished. I, <laughs> like, I had no idea how this worked, right? So I, I was like, I did something so bad. I. I just didn't know what to think. I was freaking out. I was like, what is going on? It was literally the day, the last day of my three month probation. And I was so happy because I was there. I was like, I did it. I'm at work. This is my, like the date that I officially got hired. This is three months from then. I'm good. No. I went into the office and they're like, oh, you didn't pass your three month probation. And that's basically it. They don't give you a reason. They don't give you they don't have any ob obligation to really make any sense and that was that I was like okay thanks my parents had just dropped me off and they went to the laundromat to do the laundry and I literally like walked there crying the whole time it was so sad you know when you're young and sensitive and a teenager and going through puberty and just so many emotions I was so upset that was my first job you know and I love that job and I was so proud of like my work ethic and everyone I got along with there and it was just such an emotional and like detrimental state for me <laughs> and I know it might sound silly but my first job was what made me realize like working is important like I like making money I like having my own things I like working like if I'm not working I don't know what I'm doing with my life so it made me really upset to lose that like pride and like feeling of usefulness and that I'm helping the community in a certain way and making money out of it. Yeah, I walked to my parents and I walked up and I'm crying and they're like, they knew and they just hugged me and they're like, oh, don't worry about it, it happens, you'll get another job, blah, blah, blah. And I did get another job after that, but it was still really sad <laughs> to go through that even though I didn't, like, I didn't really do anything wrong. I guess that manager was just in a really bad mood because, I mean, I, I was doing my job. <laughs> he wanted to leave my till dirty. Anyways, that's my story about my first job and how I got fired <laughs> on the spot. I was so close. I was so close. I could have been a cashier like for years, but no. If you guys want to share your story on your first job, please leave it in the comments down below. I would love to see some. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you like these story time videos. And I will see you guys next time.